Hi everyone and welcome to the Sewix one. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful easy triangle shawl. You can adapt to any size you want. You can um, control the um, thickness of it uh, by uh, the size of the yarn. The original video is by Dana Wolf. I learned this pattern from her like a few years ago and this is shawl number six. I crochet because I, f I fell in love with that pattern. It's very easy and it's very beautiful. I only skipped the tassel part of it because I enjoyed the look of how the edges are looking without them. So let's jump into this tutorial. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet for the future tutorials and let's go. Let's break down the pattern a little bit so it becomes easier. So here is what we are going to do in row one and the patterns I'm including in this uh, tutorials are included in the original video of Dana Wolf also. So thanks to her. Uh, so we will start by chaining four and join with a slip stitch and then we will make five loops of chains 15 chain each 15 15 15 15 15 and we will always slip stitch into the ring formed from the chain 4 that's it that's row 1 for this project I'm using this yarn from Nako it's called Nako satin it's a medium worsted yarn and I'm using this um, hook from Clover it's E size 3.5 millimeter hook as I explained I'm starting with a chain 4 1 2 3 and 4 and I will slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring That's it. And then I will form five loops by chaining 15 times in each loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And I'm taking the loop into the center of the ring I formed and I will slip stitch into the middle of the ring I will repeat that four more times I will chain 15 and slip stitch into the ring for here I chained the four loops one two three four and I chained the fifth loop and I'm about to close it into the ring with a slip stitch the same way I have done before with the other four this way now I have the five loops one two three four five loops now I will chain one and I will turn one and now I will turn my work to start row number two now let's have a look about how are we going to do row number two first of all we need to be on a higher level we cannot stay at the same level at the four chain level we need to get to the loop height level how we are going to do that we are going to do that by inserting our stitches our single stitches into the one side of the first loop I will show you how until we reach the top of the first loop itself just it you don't need to count you just need to eyeball it and measure that is you are already on the middle of the loop when you reach the middle of the loop you are going to chain two loops each of them consists of 15 chains and then you will chain 5 
and reach to the middle of the next loop and make the same thing two loops each of them contains a 15 chains and then you will chain five to reach the middle the middle loop there will be always something special about the middle loop that instead of making two we will be making three because here is how we make the shawl go bigger and bigger and make us a bigger size in each row so in the middle row we will be stitching three loops each loop consists of 15 chains and then we'll chain five to reach the next loop and we will make two sets of chain 15 and then five more stitches to eat to reach the last loop and from that last loop we will be chaining 15 twice so here we are we will turn our work and we will make it through the first loop until we reach the top of it just by inserting the hook through each of the chains we'll grab the yarn take it out and slip into the stitch we will do this until we reach the middle of the loop we will insert the hook grab the yarn take it out and slip into the stitch insert the chain grab the yarn take it out and slip stitch into the stitch on the hook again insert the chain and always keep two yarns from the chain over your hook grab the yarn take it through the stitch on the hook again insert the chain the next one grab the yarn take it out and into the chain on the hook to the next one insert the hook grab the yarn slip stitch and to the next grab the yarn and slip stitch it looks like you are in the middle of the loop now it doesn't you don't you don't have to count it looks like this is the top of it so from the top of it chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 now from this point you see this point this chain where you stopped chaining through the side just insert the hook it's uh, you don't have to to really make effort to locate it it's where this is coming from in the loop just to to the base of it insert the hook grab the yarn and slip stitch now you got the new loop we will be making two in this first loop so let's do it again chain 15 see where you slip stitch the first loop you will slip stitch the second loop into to form the second loop let's have a closer look on this let's revise where we are now these are the original five loops one two three four five from this one we ascended through the side stitches and we created two loops one and two of 15 stitches 15 chains each now we will chain five to connect to the top of the next loop
So here is one chain, two, three, four, and five. And we go just to the middle of the next loop, just to the middle. You don't have to count, just eyeball it. See? Just eyeball it and insert the hook into the middle stitch and slip stitch. See? And now make the two exact loops here on the top and slip stitch into the same stitch. In this way and then you chain 15 again. Here I want you to pay attention to the third loop because this is the middle loop. We have chained five to reach the next loop and since there is this is the middle loop we will chain three loops out instead of two. This is how the shawl gets bigger as we have said before. So instead of two loops of 15 we will be chaining three loops of 15 and slip stitch into the exact same stitch in the top of the loop. Chain 15 three times and after every time you slip stitch into the same place as we have done before. So here is so here is loop. I chain the first loop, the second loop, and here is the third loop. I will slip stitch into the same chain in the top of the middle loop. This way. Now I will chain five to reach the next loop as regularly as we have done before. Chain five get to the top of the next loop and form two loops of 15 chains each. And there we go, we chained the two loops, now we chain five to reach the last loop here and into the middle top stitch of it, we slip stitch And form the last two loops. We we the two loops into the last basic loop. Now we will chain one, and we will turn our work to start row three. In row three, we'll be doing exactly the same as we have done in row number two. The only change is that instead of chaining five between the loops, we will be chaining seven. And nothing will change until you finish your shawl. You will go exactly the exact same way. You'll be doing row three until you finish your last row at the desired size of the shawl. So we will be chaining one, as we have said. We will turn the work and as we have done before, we will make it through the first loop the f until we, we get to the middle stitch of it to start forming the loops of the second uh, of the next row which is row number three in this case so we'll make it through the stitches until we reach the top of the row as we have done before in the previous row turn the hook into the middle of the stitch get the yarn and slip stitch into the stitch on the hook and then to the next stitch. Insert the hook, grab the yarn 
and slip stitch on into the stitch on the yarn. Insert the yarn, insert the hook, grab the yarn and slip stitch and go on until you reach the middle of the loop. And here is and here is the middle of the loop. You will notice that this side is thicker than this because it's double stitched. We have stitched again into the previous stitches. Now chain 15 twice and slip stitch into the same place as we have done before. Here is the chain 15. Slip stitch into where it came from and where it started to form the first loop. Here is the first loop. Now we'll repeat to form the second loop. So, so the next move, we have chained, we have ascended to the top middle of the loop, we chained two loops of 15, chain 7 to reach the next loop instead of 5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we will insert the hook into the middle chain of the next loop. And the next, we will be taking loops in couples from now on until we reach the middle loop of the shawl. So we will have to uh, be alert and count. I'm inserting the hook into the middle of this loop, the top chain of this loop, and also the top chain of the next. No stitches in between, just insert the hook into both of them. And we will slip stitch as one. We will slip stitch, we will go through both until out and this how it will look like and this how the shawl will be formed see that triangle that triangle is coming and happening from joining two loops into the same slip stitch now we will start to chain 15 twice into the same space we have slip stitched so 15 And we slip stitch into the same stitch we have joined the two loops together. This way. And then we will chain 15 again and slip stitch into the same place. And slip stitch into the very same place. And here is the two loops of 15 coming from the joining point of the two loops. Now, stitch seven stitches of chains and reach to the next loop. Insert the hook into the middle stitch. And into the middle stitch of the next as well. Slip stitch through both. And chain 15, see that triangle? Chain 15 twice again. We have chained seven to reach the next loop. The next loop is the middle loop. Uh, you could put um, a mark, a crochet mark, a crochet ring to, uh, to mark it if you are afraid, afraid to miss it and you just slip stitch into the top middle uh, chain, the top middle stitch. And here is where you slip stitch three loops of 15 chains each. Chain 15 three times and slip stitch into the very same space. 
Here is the first. And slip stitch. Now the second. The second into the same space. And now we'll make the third. Chain seven and we slip stitch into the next loop and the next. We are back to take the loops by couple. The only loop we take it as single is the middle loop. So we slip stitch and we form two loops of 15 and slip stitch into the same space again. First loop done, second loop into the same stitch and slip stitch chain 7 and here we make it to the last loop into the middle of the loop and slip stitch and chain 15 twice so I made these two loops into the last loop and the top stitch of it and here is how every single row of this shawl will go on from now on just exactly the same way that row 3 has been done for all of my shawls for the sixth for the six shawls I have made I did not make the tassel part I enjoyed that um, uh, little floral um, edgy um, uh, look that the loops gave me I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you found it useful please give it a thumbs up if you like it share it with your friends comment below if you need any help and uh, subscribe to my channel for the future tutorials and I will see you next time I wish you a very happy day bye bye